Now I have ice cream. Yep. You couldn't resist. That's weird how that works. I got a text message saying I need to stop eating the ice cream. From who? I'm not going to name names. From your boss? I'm not going to name names. <laughs> she loves when we eat on air. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. There's a local thrift store that specializes in designer clothes. Yeah, from shoes to handbags, Opitz has it all recently. Kendall, yes, Kendall, visited the outlet to see what they have. I was going to shoot this really nice intro, but then I got distracted by all the clothes on this rack. Um, this is not in my size. This is not also in my size, but it's Halston, and it's 70% off. So a lot of you message me and ask me about where I get all my clothes. I'm really big into discount, into um, any kind of vintage consignment. This though, specifically, is the gem of the Twin Cities. When it comes to things like designer wardrobe for way less, and we're gonna show you all about it. And you were saying that you get people who you're like, you, they come in and you say, oh, I haven't seen you forever. And they've come off of a flight and they come here before they go to see their family members. Absolutely. People love Opitz and it's, it is, it's a generational thing. People come in and they say, oh, I grew up coming here with my mom and now they're coming in with their own children. Once you know, you know. <laughs> Once you know, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the trick is that a lot of people still don't know. Mm -hmm. People are driving past all the time and they'll stop and say, I've never stopped in here yeah and amazed that they've never, never done it, it. Yeah. I love the I think I put money in the store jar now right here yeah. um, we have good American jeans here I just brought up Jimmy Choo I was just showing a Halston dress I mean there's just such a wide there variety yeah it's amazing and when you come in here you just you're saying you never know what you're gonna get you don't and that's what people say all the time they say uh, you just never know you have to stop in because one day you might walk out saying nothing today, mm -hmm. but the next day you come in and you're like, wow, all new stuff, things you hadn't seen before, so you just never know. You kind of have to have an idea of what you want when you come in, or would you say, you just gotta be an open mind? You know, I think it's both. I think people come in with an idea, like I, we hear that all the time. I came in to get a pair of tennis shoes, and look, I'm leaving with four sweaters. <laughs> you know? And no tennis shoes. No tennis That's shoes. That's how I shop. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you can come in with an idea, and I think most people that do come in with an idea, you can find it. We have, you know, t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeve, dress shirts, sweatshirts. I mean, anything that you want at one time, where some other stores might just have a season worth of stuff. Right. We pretty much carry stuff for all the seasons at some point. But you guys are really known, people, the insiders know, the shoes, yes? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go see the shoes. Did someone say shoes? Okay, we ironically are in my size pile. What a great idea. An insane amount of shoes here. You also said something two seconds ago I thought was really interesting. Not all shoes are sized how they think. Like, what? So all the shoes come to us sized as they were in a store. But sometimes things are sized incorrectly. And that's why they sat in another store and didn't sell there. So we often tell people, even if you're not a size, whatever, try it on. If you like it, try it on. So what I'm learning today, everybody, don't have like an idea of what you exactly need when you come in and shop. Be open-minded and try on all the shoes, which I shall be doing right now. You are so predictable. I literally did try on shoes so while Eric was filming all the extra footage. I was like, <laughs> I actually do want to try those one. Uh, so, Opitz, yes. Yes. Uh, when we went in there and talked to Mary, who we were talking to, she actually told me this really sweet story because, and I thought, you have to share this. People come in there often and they really pride themselves on helping people out. Like, what are you looking for? Have you ever been here? And she said they do have a specific story about an older gentleman came in trying to find an outfit for his wife. She hadn't been out of the house in years. She was um, had Alzheimer's and so couldn't shop for herself. And just the experience of going through and helping him pick out this big moment, this big outfit that she deserved to feel so beautiful in for so much less for something that all of us can afford. I just think that that's that's a sweet story, right? It's it's really cool and it's something that we can all know. I mean, it's brand new clothing. It's just seventy percent off because the man who started it has all the inside track. He knows the deal. You never know what you're gonna get. I was just telling you in the pre-show meeting. I need new clothing. 
You do, and I you should like, honestly I, go I, I there. I need new clothes. I, I looked in the closet today and mm -hmm. tried to pick out an outfit for today for the for this show. Specifically. You look great. Well, thank you. I mean, but I, it's like I've looked at, I've seen you all for six, seven, eight years in a row now. Time for time for an update. I think. <laughs> seen all of you things yeah. in all this all wardrobe. You, yeah, it's time for an update. Mm -hmm. If you drive by the one in St. Louis Park, by the way, it's right off of Excelsior, right by the Trader Joe's. So you know what I mean if you've driven by it. For more information, go to opensoutlet.com. We'll be right back. I do need new clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be checking them out. I need, I need some new clothes.